dear guests and, and participants, uh, we, we have come to the end of the Fort Scientix uh, conference. I believe that uh, we've, we've had really rich discussions here and debates over the past two days. And it's indeed my pleasure as chairman of European Schoolnet to make a few closing remarks and also express my gratitude to all uh, those who, who made this event possible. Um, I must say that I was really inspired by the different experiences and innovative practice that were shared during the conference and based on the various discussion and debates on some of the key issues in STEM education. I believe that you and, and myself also, we have learned a lot from the speeches delivered by, by so many speakers, by the interactive workshops, the roundtables and by the poster contributors who have shared uh, their interesting work. We've learned more about different STEM education projects in Europe and about the Scientix community deepens connections, generates new ideas and inspires educators to foster creativity and enthusiasm into the STEM education. The issues we have discussed over these two days are really key elements for successfully achieving the promotion of science education and STEM in Europe. More in particular, during this conference, we've explored policies and strategies on how to improve STEM teaching and learning. We have reflected on how to better increase achievement and motivation in STEM and build STEM teachers' capacity and promote STEM attractiveness attractiveness in school education. We also discussed about the role of STEM and STEAM in advancing the future of education. And we highlighted the role of digital transformation in education and how the edtech sector can also play a role in that process. We explored better ways to promote STEM careers and achieve inclusiveness within STEM learning environments. Over these two days, We've also discussed a lot about the need for collaboration and partnership between the industry, the school sector, and the policy level. Collab collaboration between pu public and private actors can surely contribute to ensure that future generations are educated and trained for what our society needs. We all know that contextualization of STEM teaching requires a close cooperation between schools and industry. Engaging all the stakeholders in STEM education is very critical to achieve that goal, as this conference has proven. It brings mutual richness and enrichment and build partnership between educators, policymakers, industry representatives, and as we just heard, also the research community, and actually to all others who, who have to play a role in STEM education. There is also clearly a high value of having Scientix, the European Community for Science Education, as a multi-stakeholder platform where complementary policies and practices can meet each other, um, where we can discuss with each other and where we can learn from each other. I would like to highlight some key messages from these two days for the future of Scientix. From April 2023, Scientix will continue as an initiative of European Schoolnet, and it will be supported by its ministries of education, by the STEM Alliance industry partners, by the Scientix associate partners, and of course, it will also remain in collaboration with different European Commission funded projects. Scientix will continue supporting schools, STEM teachers, and all stakeholders involved. <clears throat> in improving STEM education across Europe and beyond through the following core activities. And I, I want to mention three of them. First of all, by supporting actions for the STEM community. And this will be done via our Scientix portal, the STEM edu education campaigns, Scientix, the Scientix TV channel, the STEM school label that will be scaled up. And of course, by strengthening the network of Scientix ambassadors. Secondly, training and professional development for teachers. Science workshops, MOOCs, webinars, the STEM careers repository will, con will continue to being organized and, 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 and um, organized and being uh, moderated. And third, networking. Networking through, for instance, the Ministries of Education STEM representative, representatives working group. 
or the, sense, the science topic networking seminars, the Scientix conferences, and other STEM high-level events. In particular, we want to expand the STEM Alliance industry partnership and setting up the right bridges between the edtech startup sector to offer innovative STEAM and STEM education solutions. Finally, on behalf of European Schoolnet, the organizer of this event, I wish to thank our speakers and our Scientix community for the success of this conference. In particular, I want to thank Agueda and the whole EUN science and events teams for organizing this conference and for all the work done to make the Scientix 4 conference a great success. I'm confident that we will return with new ideas and insights that were inspired to continue our joint efforts to strengthen the promotion of science education in Europe. The innovations, experience and shared lessons that we have learned here over the past two days will not just stay there. Scientix will continue its journey in supporting the community and providing you uh, with all the resources, training and networking opportunities that are necessary to improve STEM education. Thank you very much, and I hope you will enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I am sure that we will meet again during one of the activities or, or events that I have just mentioned. Mm -hmm.